Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Whoa, please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah Hey, what's up you guys? How are we? And welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my report. Well, I guess it's similar to a school report. I'm actually at school. I'm studying again. Uh, we haven't started just yet, but I have gone to my first orientation day at the New Zealand Institute of Sport. And I've got to say, what a fucking place, man. What a day. How much fun did I have on that day? Well, I couldn't even tell you. It was so good. I felt in my element and I met half the class. So we've got two more weeks to kill before we actually start for real but I just wanted to cover what you know how the how the first day went and how I'm feeling you know actually becoming a full-time student once again and finally studying something that I'm actually passionate about because at the end of the day it doesn't matter what you're doing it doesn't matter how much you're getting paid if you're not passionate about it it's not gonna last it ain't gonna last and that is the same with study and that's what happened to me back in 2010 when I began university, my first ever university degree in economics and law, and I spent two months absolutely hating it, thinking, what the fuck have you got yourself into, Jacob? I had to take the loan that I'd taken out. I had to keep it. It was 12 grand, and I'm still paying it off. But, thank God, I didn't stay there for the five years. Now, we're not talking about university. We're actually talking about a tertiary education provider, but it's the New Zealand Institute of Sport. And if that doesn't sound like a whole lot of fun to you, well, I don't know what will. So, let me put the put the camera up here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bore you guys. I'm not gonna talk for too long. But this is you know this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next well 18 weeks actually, beginning on the 27th of July. So we went to the orientation day. It was 9 till 2:30. It was pretty much like a normal day. Um, we're going to be studying from 9 till 2:30, or we're going to be on campus from 9 till 2:30 Monday to Friday with a half an hour lunch break. So, uh, I'm led to believe we don't spend more than an hour at any one time in the classroom, so it is extremely practical based. It's uh, community based. Um, you'll be, you know, getting involved in things. I mean, the first thing that they did was make us, basically, you know, <laughs> we did like a speed dating kind of, you know, kind of, kind of activity where we needed to find out a certain thing about this random person that we've just met in our class, right? So from literally from the first day, this is not even the first day, this is orientation day, we're already, you know, I guess getting used to meeting people the first day, meeting randoms, you know, being comfortable meeting random people and being comfortable talking to random people. Because at the end of the day, becoming a personal trainer and being a successful personal trainer is, yeah, you can be the best trainer, yeah, you can have the greatest advice, but if you don't engage and if you can't actually you know, generate new clients, then it's not gonna work. So I'm in a very uh, unique position because I actually don't need a job as a personal trainer after this course. I am solely doing this course for my own benefit, for my own knowledge, and that is an amazing place to be in. You know, there is no pressure. There's absolutely no pressure on me right now. I'm doing it for fun, and it is gonna be fun. Because I tell you what, literally the first day, okay, is going to be a sick day. Uh, and every Monday at 2.30 till 4, there's a basketball academy, right? So my first day there, we're going to have a workout, of course. We're going to do a bit of class work. And then after class, I'm going to go into the basketball stadium and start shooting around for an hour and a half with the other students on campus. How fun! It's going to be great. So we, uh, we, we got to know each other. We sort of had a, you know, basically an introduction day. Um, we had a tour around the place. We had a workout. We actually, um, in future, every Tuesday, they have a community boot camp. So community members come into the, the, the campus and uh, the PT students, which will be us, actually run the boot camp. So it gets us involved early. It gets us used to it. And, um, you know, these people who come in, uh, you know, they're not paying, so it's not, there's no pressure. It's a fantastic environment. You know, they're, they're really practical based, and I love that. Um, they've got a massive gym on campus, okay? Uh, 2.30, we finish class. Anyone that wants to go and train can. If you want to get there before class, you can train before class. 
I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to, yeah, I guess, I'm going to have to find out exactly what level everyone's at, which we will, I'm sure. And, um, you know, if anyone is keen to hit the gym every single day after class, well, that's going to be, that's going to be us, right? And, um, well, I, you know, I tend to think that by the end of an 18-week course, if you're training every day together, you're going to be pretty good mates. And I'm really excited for that. Um, there's another thing I'm excited for. They have inter-campus uh, sports tournament. They have an inter-campus sports tournament in September. So us as a Christchurch campus will travel up north if we want to and um, compete against the Wellington and Auckland campuses in a three-day multi-sport tournament. And I'll tell you what guys, there ain't nothing that sounds more fun than that. It literally felt like I went to PE class. Physical education. That was everybody's favourite class at high school. Well, I'm about to study it for 18 weeks straight. And I can't fucking wait, guys. Today's video was just a quick report on how I'm feeling after doing my induction day. We've got a week and a half left to go. I cannot wait to start. Um, I, you know, there's 17 people in the class. I think there's three guys and, uh, and 14 girls. So, you know, I'm not complaining either way. I really had no expectations. And like I said, I'm doing this for my own knowledge, for my own benefit. But if I can make friends, and encourage everyone else in the class to to just do their best, I'll be winning. Last thing I'll say is, uh, well, they're really gonna find out what being a personal trainer is like because four weeks into the course, I will be competing um, on a bodybuilding stage, on a local bodybuilding stage. So that's gonna be cool. I'm gonna be doing my personal training certificate. I'm gonna be doing a bodybuilding show and also Fuck, this is exciting. Major Key Physiques is going to be a title sponsor for the NZIFBB for this coming competitive season. So that's three things in the same industry that are going to be, you know, rolling around each other. And I'm just going to have to try and prioritize throughout that. But they're three things that, you know, are in the same industry, the bodybuilding and fitness industry. It's an industry that I've been in for probably seven years now, and uh, it ain't going to stop. I love sport, but I, I still love the training. You know, sportsmen, sportsmen play, play sport, you know, on, the, on their respective field, right? But it's the work that goes in behind the scenes that actually builds that character. It builds that physique. And that's the work that I enjoy doing in the gym. The work, the work you do when no one's watching, man, it's... Uh, it's an incredible feeling and uh, look, if you've got a pre-workout and you've got some music in your ears, well, it's, it's euphoric. And I'll leave you with that. So if you've never been in the gym before and you're considering it, try it out, man. You never know, you might become a personal trainer one day. And with all that being said, guys, I want to wish you a fantastic day. It is game day for me today. I'm playing rugby, but I won't be playing rugby for too much longer because... Fuck, I've got a lot of shit going on, and I've got to prioritize it, and I can't get injured. But I'll let you guys know in good time. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.